Right now, the Alabama Department of Public Health is investigating more than 50 confirmed deaths caused by the flu across Alabama. Yeah, here in Birmingham, doctors have been seeing more younger patients at Children's of Alabama. CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed is at the hospital right now. And Tim, you talked with a pediatrician today about the flu and the particular dangers that it poses to children. That's right, Sherry. Doctors tell me parents need to take this flu outbreak seriously because the flu has been so deadly. Okay, we're going to take a listen to you, okay? Dr. Melissa Wall has been nonstop treating her patients at Children's of Alabama. I know we are usually pretty booked through the day. We don't have very many much space for walk-ins. I know the ER has been pretty packed as well um, with kids that may have the flu. Um, I know pharmacies are running out of Tamiflu, and, and we're sometimes, we were out of flu swabs for, I think, for a couple of days. The pediatrician tells me she has been testing up to 40 to 50 kids a day for the flu. Wall says usually seven or more of those kids turn out to be positive. The flu can be dangerous for children, especially ones that have chronic illnesses like um, heart and lung problems, asthma, or any chronic heart issues. Um, it's dangerous for them just because their immune systems may not be as strong as for an adult. All right, we're going to check those ears. Wall tells me if your child is sick, to keep them home from school and away from other kids who may be sick. I think for all pediatricians, it's pretty scary because you don't know which kid will have a bad turn and which won't. A lot of children that are having issues um, are healthy kids with no prior medical conditions, and a lot of times they may have an additional infection in addition to the flu that really caused them to have a bad outcome. Now, Dr. Wall tells me if your kids show any flu-like symptoms, you need to take them to the hospital as soon as possible. We're live in downtown Birmingham. Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.